which of the axial CTs contains left brachiocephalic vein, right pulmonary artery, aortic arch, and the azygous arch? These are axial CTs. Let's look at the axial CT in A. And here we can see that there is an arch-like structure. And this is located on the left side. And it is produced by the arch of the aorta. So the arch of the aorta, aortic arch, uh, matches with A. Now let's look at B. Of the structures that we can see here, in B is the ascending aorta, the descending aorta. Uh, this is the superior vena cava, and this is the pulmonary trunk, and the right pulmonary artery, and uh, left pulmonary artery here. So the right pulmonary artery, we can see it here, the right pulmonary artery, it matches with B. In C, this is um, at a higher level, than the previous two levels. And we can see here the three branches from the arch of the aorta spiraling around the trachea. In front of these arteries are the veins. And so we have on the left side, this is the left brachiocephalic vein. It crosses from left to right side across the midline uh, to join the right brachiocephalic vein and then they will form the superior vena cava. So the left brachiocephalic vein matches with C. Then let's look at D. In D, again, we have these two circles, which represent the ascending aorta and the descending aorta. And here is the trachea. On the right side of the ascending aorta is the superior vena cava. And the superior vena cava is receiving a structure that comes from behind forward and opens into the superior vena cava. Now this structure is located on the right side, and it is the arch of the azygous vein, which is located above the root of the right lung. So the azygous arch it matches with D.